What is going on everybody in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys step by step how to build a 5m esx server now it's very simple i'm going to be walking you guys through it if you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see more content like this make sure you guys subscribe also make sure you guys join the discord where we have all kinds of different de dedicated developers to help you out in your 5m journey and starting your own 5m server with that let's get into this so so in today's video we're going to be building an esx server now there's different kinds of servers and depending on what your goals are esx may or may not be the best option for you in my opinion i like esx the most is one of the most familiar with and it's the most most used on the 5m platform so with that in mind we're going to be installing esx today now there is two ways to install esx you can either go through the route of tx admin which makes it really really simple but in my opinion it's not as up to date so personally i like to get it straight from the esx people themselves straight from their github so if you guys need to find this you guys can go to the link in the description i'll link this and it's basically going to be a github repository of the esx core and it's super simple to install i'm about to teach you guys step by step so first off you're going to want to go to their github right here when you're here you're going to want to go down here to releases do not download the code here a lot of people and new people make this mistake Mistake. this is in development if you download this they're going to be breaking code there's going to be things that aren't finished you never want to download it from here unless you know what you're doing and there's a very specific reason for you doing so for now we're going to go right here down to releases and you if you want to you can go through and see all the different changes they want also if you guys want to come in here maybe about every once a month or so you guys can update some scripts and some resources it's not needed but if you guys ever want to just stay up to date you guys can always just come and just follow this guide back and do the exact same thing we're doing now again all you're going to do once you come here is you're going to download right here you're going to download the zip file um once you download the zip file all Obviously, you're going to need WinZip or WinRAR. Sorry, not WinZip, WinRAR. If you have WinRAR installed or if you don't, just, you know, hopefully you know how to download zip files. Okay, so once you download the ESX folder, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to want to come onto your desktop or wherever you want to put the, you know, ESX or whatever, you, wherever you want to put your test server. So for me, I'm just going to create a new folder on here. I'm just going to call it ESX server. You can call it whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. From there, we're going to create a few different folders. So the first folder we're going to create is one called Artifacts. Okay, now Artifacts is basically what the 5M uses to run the server itself. I'll teach you guys in just a second how to actually download that and install that. Second off, we're going to make another new folder. And we're going to call this one Resources. This is where we're going to be putting all of our different scripts and all the actual server things itself. So from there, once you have these two things named, is open that ESX uh, the ESX core folder that we just downloaded. From there, you're going to see these all these different files. So first off, we're going to take our server CFG and we're going to drag that into our main director here where you have artifacts and resources. You're going to drag that into here. From there, you're going to want to go into the core and then this is where you're going to have all your core ESX resources. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our resources and we're going to make a new folder and we're going to call this core. Now you can uh, you can set your folders and your file directories the way you want, but this is the way I personally do it because this allows me to stay organized. So the reason I do it like this is because when I have the core folder in brackets like this it makes sure that i remember and i know that every folder in here and every resource in here is going to be core esx right this is framework you may you maybe you can call it framework whatever you want to call it it really doesn't matter once you do that what you're going to want to do is go back into your esx core folder you're then going to have another one called sql now this is going to be your database now if you don't know how to get a database running i'll teach you guys right now you're going to want to go to a website called maria db or maria db whatever you want to call it from here you're going to want to download and install this for whatever operating system you're on if you're on windows download it for windows or whatnot you're going to want to download this and get and go through the installation steps it's very self-explanatory it's literally a step-by-step -step. you're going to want to go download and install that the second thing you're going to want to go install is something called heidi sql now there is other platforms and other you know our, uh, systems and apps you can use personally i think heidi sql is the most uh known and it's the most used for 5m that's why we use heidi sql and it's also very very basic and very very simple to do and understand so you're going to need to download both of these I'll leave both of the links in the description below. Once you download both of these, what you're going to want to do is make sure your MariaDB is running. Okay. Now, again, it's very simple to do that. It's really going to be a step by step. Make sure it is running. Once you make sure it is running, you're going to want to then open your Heidi SQL that you just installed. From there, you're going to want to basically just make a new. This may not be here. If it's not, just hit new. You can name it whatever you want. We can name this ESX server. From there, you're going to want to type in your database information. If you didn't touch anything, it's just going to be root with no password. If you did touch something, you're going to want to put that in here. Again, it's very self explanatory. Just don't change anything. And then it should just be root with no password password and then just hit open so from there as you see i have a whole bunch of different databases don't worry about that you can ignore all these um these are all just either servers i have in the past i've worked on in the past or whatever you guys can ignore all of these what we're going to be interested in is we're going to be creating a new database so what we're going to do is we're going to right click so we're going to hit create new database from here you can name it whatever you want we're going to name this esx server just like this we're going to hit okay from there we should be able to find our esx server so right here is esx server this is the one we just had as you see there's nothing in here right now so now from here, what you're going to want to go do is you're going to want to go back to your ESX folder and you're going to want to have this SQL file. If you don't, if you can't open it like this, just right click and then hit open with and open with your, your text editor. So from here, all you need to do is just basically go ahead and hit control A and control C that'll copy everything and then just paste it straight into here. Make sure you also click on your server here. So it inserts all the data into that. So once you click on this and you paste that there, just hit this little play button. 
from there it's going to run your database and if you come up here and hit refresh you hit this as you see you're going to have everything here here's, here's where you're going to be able to manage your users your jobs your uh find types data stores like all kinds of different things everything data wise is saved here you don't have to know too much about this because it's not necessary but just know that if you're looking for somebody or you know somebody's users you guys are, can look here in the database okay once you have the database installed and the resources installed we're ready to actually get this thing running so first thing we're going to do is go back into our main folder here where we have our artifacts folder we're then going to basically open artifacts now we need to go get the actual artifacts to put in here so from here you're going to want to go to the tx admin discord if you don't have an invite for this all you got to do is just hit the little join here and then you can just type in join server and just type in tx admin and that'll join the discord server or you can just click the link in the description i'll also link it there from there what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to go down here into um 5m and once you hit this little 5m icon here you might already see people doing it like this the exclamation point you if they have already done it you can just click their links or you can just do exclamation point you yourself but they already did it so we're just going to go up here and we're going to hit windows because we're downloading it from windows again if you use that posting paradactyl linux or windows you're going to want to click your operating system or use windows so we're just going to hit windows now once you hit the window icon it's going to say this and it's going to walk you through a step by step on how to do that right so you're going to hit the download windows artifacts right here and then we're just going to hit continue to download uh you could also go to the 5m artifacts themselves but i don't recommend doing that because you're end up downloading the wrong one just go here and click this it's super simple and it's super easy um make sure if you are if you do click someone's link make sure it's up to date like today i just did it from today at 10 o'clock uh if you do it from like three weeks ago they may have had a new update you always want to stay updated on your artifacts because typically when 5m has an update themselves they update the artifacts and so on so anytime there's new artifacts just come in here and do exclamation point u and then just download it straight from here again again you're going to want to stay up to date on artifacts that's pretty important now from here what you're going to do is you're going to open that zip file that you just downloaded and you're just going to drag everything into your artifacts folder so now we have our artifacts which is going to be the actual server itself and then we're going to have our resources which is our actual scripts itself and we're going to have our database from here we need to open our server.cfg where we dragged in from the esx you're going to see this here you can uh edit and delete anything you want so like let's say we want to delete that you can you know basically configure everything you want to configure so you can configure your server name we can just call this um you know esx development server and you can just do the same thing you can literally just come in here and you can customize all the different options you want um this is a game build option we're not going to touch any of this if you guys want more details on what all of this means again you guys can join my discord server i recommend that anyway if you join my discord server you'll be able to stay up to date and you'll be able to ask other people who run servers and understand this stuff so you can get more information you guys will open a ticket and you guys can ask me and my staff team directly where we can help you guys out so from here you're going to want to make sure that uh esx one sync is on or not esx one sync just one sync so you're going to do one set one sync on again i wouldn't recommend touching any of this because everything here is already pre-configured and ready to go so i won't touch any of this the only thing we're going to need to touch is right here on the uh mysql connection stream from here if you set a different password then you're going to want to go on here and change this but for me i left everything default right so the only thing i need to change is this right here where it says es underscore extended and that's because i didn't name mine that i named mine esx server so whatever you named your database you're going to want to come in here and type in esx server or whatever you named your database right from there that's all you need to do everything else is going to be pretty much pre-configured for you you're going to have all of these 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 whatever so on if you want to give yourself admin this is very important okay what you can do is you can come personally down here right and what you can do is do add principal identifier dot and then the actual identifier now for me i'm going to use discord i like to use discord and just make sure if you use discord you actually have your discord linked so again here's my discord server where you guys can come on here and get actual information about 5m you guys can stay up to news on the actual 5m content you guys can see all the different updates i push all that kind of stuff make sure you guys join their discord it's very important because again this is a platform where I'm, i update people daily on what they need to do in order to be successful in your 5m server and we're just going to keep building this discord so from here what we're going to do is we're going to actually give ourselves admin so we're here's me my discord account we're going to right click on this and hit copy user id from here we're going to come on here we're going to type discord make sure you leave this little this little like uh whatever this is these two dots here it's important and then just paste our discord id here what this is doing is giving myself admin in the actual server itself so i can do admin things right it's i think it's important a lot of people get confused there it's super simple to do again all you got to do is come down here and add the add principle identifier put your identifier here it can be discord steam license it can be anything you want it to be and then just do group.admin because it's already configured here for you okay again if you have any questions if you need help doing this join my discord server i'll provide support there okay from here everything's ready to go we have our server cfg we have our artifacts we have our resources now the last thing we need to do is actually get the key itself now right here you're going to see your set steam and your set license key to get a 5m license key you're just going to type in 5m key master you're going to go to key master and create a new key it's very simple and it's very straightforward and then you're going to need your steam web api key same kind of thing you're going to want to type in steam web api key sign into your steam account and grab that so i'm going to go grab those real quick okay so once you fill out your key and you add your steam web api key steam isn't also necessary for a lot of my servers we don't even use steam because the steam has downtime we don't want the server to have downtime as well so a lot of scripts and a lot of resources just went away from steam so i recommend you guys do the same 
Okay, so once you added your uh, API key and your actual 5M key, what you're gonna wanna do is go here, artifacts, and you're gonna wanna find the FX server.exe. From here, all you gotta do is run this and it should start your server straight up. Now I am hiding it, but it pops up a little monitor thing and it pops up a little command prompt, right? It looks something like this. I'm hiding it because it does show your IP address, okay? And it's very important that you guys do not leak your IP address, especially if it is your own IP address, if you're running it from a local host. So this is one of the tips I was telling you guys about. When you're running a local host, if somebody joins your server, they can get your IP address. And this is very deadly if it's your actual IP because then people can just hit you offline, find your location and so on. But from here, when you open that, you're gonna, this will automatically open. It's gonna open your TX admin connection here. You're gonna autofill and all you're gonna do is hit link account. Now, from here, this is where you can set up your actual name. You're gonna hit next. From server name, you can name this whatever you want. You can name this, you know, ESXRP or whatever you know your server name is. For this, we're gonna do ESX development. ESX development is a good name. We're gonna hit next. From here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna hit existing server data. This is what I was talking about when you could use TX admin and do the actual ESX like this. But again, for me, it's not up to date and I don't like that. So I like to get it from the actual up to date source. So from here, we're gonna hit existing server data. From there, you're going to want to just go back into this folder here, your main folder, and you can just copy the path like I just did right there. You just hit this and hit control C. From there, you can just paste it straight into here, hit next, and then it should automatically fill to your server CFG. From there, you're going to hit save, and then you're going to hit save and start server. From here, it's going to start your server. Um, and let's see, we're getting in and we're getting an error, right? So let me show you guys how to debug errors. Well, let's go scroll up and we couldn't find dependency aux mysql for resource es extended so so we forgot to install aux now what do we do well this is very important as well what we're going to want to do is just type in aux mysql it should be like the very first link yep right here perfect and again i'll link all of this in the description below it's very simple what we're going to want to do is come here we're going to hit this button here again releases and then you're just going to hit download here now this is what basically your database this, this is needed for your database so you're going to want to download that there's a few other things we're going to be downloading as well because we're going to be using aux inventory if you guys don't know what aux inventory is it's the most popular inventory system so we're going to be installing that as well so to install that you're going to need a few different things we're going to need aux lib we're going to need aux inventory for right now only thing we're going to be downloading is the aux lib and aux inventory okay so it's the same thing here you're going to hit releases download same thing here releases download just like this now from here what you can do is go back into your files and you're going to open resources from here you can uh, put it in core or you can make a new folder whatever you want to do for me personally I like to go into core and then make another folder in here and I like to call this aux just like this and then I like to drag all of these different files in there so we're going to just start with our aux inventory and then we're going to add our aux lib and then lastly we're going to add our aux mysql so again a little bit of just a refresher what we're going to do is you're going to the esx core you're going to drag all of them into this folder you're going to make you're going to go down aux inventory aux lib and aux mysql you're going to drag those in here as well okay so lastly what we're going to do start our server once more and so instead of closing it after we start it completely what you can actually do is go into your tx admin panel that was already open you then can go to live console and then just hit this button here and hit continue it's going to then restart your server automatically so you don't have to close it all the way and then reopen it right we're going to restart it now and now we're going to see if there's any errors this time so we're starting it okay couldn't find couldn't find that's fine we don't need those resources um warning it's okay we're going to ignore all this for now um okay so we're getting this right here access denied for user uh localhost using password yes so as you know earlier we didn't add a password so what we're going to do is go straight into our server cfg again so what we're going to do is come into here and we're going to change user password to just root all you're going to type in is root right there so from there we're going to go back into our tx admin we're going to restart the server again and we're going to see if this works now you guys may be asking yourself why am i showing you these errors i'm showing you these errors for a specific reason it is because this is a step-by-step -step on how when you get errors and you get problems in your server this is how you solve them you go you scroll up here you figure out what usually it's one resource as you saw last time was aux mysql and it stopped every other resource and right there people get confused well don't get overwhelmed to just go back to your steps and go install things step by step scroll through and that's how you debug and that is how you live i just taught you exactly live how to fix a problem right and that's the same thing you're going to do you're going to go step by step fix one problem restart one problem restart a lot of people when they're starting their first server and they're new there's a whole bunch of problems and they end up getting mad and quitting or they just don't understand it just listen just solve one problem at a time and restart your server one problem at a time and restart your server if everything looks good as you see server started up everything's you know good it's letting us know so now we're going to open our 5m and we should be able to connect into our server so to connect to your server, you're gonna you should see right here where it says connect to Reese. That's my computer name. This will either say you know connect to LAN or connect to your PC name. You can either click this button here, but if for whatever reason this doesn't show up, what you can actually do is press F8 and type connect local host just like this and then it's going to start it from here we need to switch our game version because uh that's what in our server cfg we actually use this game version uh you can change that if you want but in my my opinion just leave it as default i think this is a good one 3095 that's the most up-to-date game build and basically when you're on different game builds what that means is it gives you you know access to dlc cars so for example let's say gta 5 rockstar the actual selves release a new update where they add four new cars if you don't change your game build you're not going to have those four new cars to be able to spawn you change your game build to the new version you're going to be able to spawn those new dlc content cars right the 
same kind of concept for clothes and so on. So from here, you guys should see this identity menu. This is new. So from here, you guys can go ahead and test it out. So we're just going to put trace, trace, date of birth, 10, 10, 1999 mail in 170 right create boom registration successful now i can go in here we can change our, our skin we're just going to hit in, enter for now so as you guys see we're in here now let's open our inventory boom as you guys see we have our inventory in here we can close the inventory now to open the admin menu what you're going to want to do is do the command slash tx from there it should open your admin menu this is the tx admin admin menu it is a pretty solid admin menu especially you know at the start where you're just you know testing and developing different things so what we can actually do is just test out giving ourselves an item, right? We can do slash give item and then we can just do me and we're going to do weapon underscore AP pistol and we're going to do one. Okay, boom. Now we have an AP pistol. We can pull that out. Awesome. So this is how you guys install and get started on an actual server itself. So to get added in scripts and all those kind of things, what you guys can do is just keep downloading scripts and adding them to your server CFG and adding them into your resources, right? And then as you guys see here, we now have our ESX server with our aux inventory set up. Aux inventory also has your shops, your weapons, um, and all, all those kind of things. Now, let me just teach you guys real quick how you guys can start installing more scripts into your server because you're going to need more scripts than just this to run an actual server, right? I'm going to show you guys a few different resources that you guys can use to find good high quality scripts and how you guys can find scripts for your 5m server so obviously i'm gonna do a little bit of self promo here if you guys are looking for high quality scripts we release them here every we try and release them very frequently for example one of our most popular products is going to be our drug system and our drug dealer where it allows people to actually you know farm drugs and level up and sell drugs i think drug systems in your 5m server is very important every server needs a good solid one ours is a very good solid one we also have a shop system and all those kind of things so obviously i'm going to plug myself a little bit here so if you guys are looking for some high quality scripts come check us out you guys can also go to subscription if you guys aren't looking to spend that much money you guys can actually get to subscription here which is the 27.99 we're currently doing a sale and uh if you purchase this every month you're going to be able to have access to every single script we release in the future and every single script we have now okay so promotion aside the next place you can go to to find some good scripts is going to be the 5m release page now this is where you can find all kinds of different ideas right um in my opinion uh, you're not going to go too crazy on purchasing scripts because a lot of these scripts, there's probably a good free alternative to them. You know, if I has been out for a long time now, you can probably find good scripts for cheap or free, right? So for example, if it has paid, it's obviously a paid script. If it has free, it's a free script. As you guys see, here's another kill feed script. We also have a kill feed script that we also release for free. So again, here's the kill feed and this is completely for free. Um, so, you know, if you want one like this, we can customize it, then maybe you buy it. But if you are just looking for a simple kill feed, maybe you go with a free option. That's my advice to people is don't go buying too many scripts, buy what you need, buy your core scripts, you know, like the drug system, buy your core scripts, you know, like the, you know, maybe a custom dealership and so on. The next one we're going to be checking out is going to be the ESX GitHub, right? Where this is where, you know, we got our actual core resources, but they also have a whole bunch of different add-on resources with it. For example, you can go on here, they have a banking system, a death screen, a HUD, a police job, basic needs, which is going to be food, water, societies, which is going to be for businesses status which again is going to be for food and hunger i don't know what esx obesity is that's crazy um and then you're you know your ambulance jobs your accessories and, and and so on so the only one we're going to be installing right now is going to be a dealership as you see right now we don't have a dealership so to install a dealership we can go on here go to esx underscore vehicle shop we're going to hit code and we're going to hit download zip now if it has a release right here you're going to want to download that but as you see this one notes so you can just download it like this now from here you can go back into your actual core you know folder where you're, you're hosting your server go into resources we can actually create a new folder in here we can just call this add-ons from here we can go ahead and drag in our esx underscore vehicle shop so we're going to drag that right into here and then what you're going to do is just rename this you're going to want to remove this dash main then you're going to want to open this and you're going to want to look for sql file as you guys see this one has an sql file so it's going to be the same process as before we're going to copy all of this we're going to go into our database we're going to go into this and we're going to paste it all in here and then we're going to hit this little arrow here now because of the fact of we're already using esx it actually already comes with this database as you guys see here but i'm just showing you guys this for other scripts that may not already have a database installed that's how you install the database right now once you have all of that installed what you can actually do is we can actually start every this whole folder so that way anytime we add something into this folder we don't have to manually add it every single time so to do that we can just grab this we can go here we can go to the server cfg then down here we're going to type in ensure and we're going to paste that so again this is going to start every single script automatically inside of this folder so we don't have to sit there and manually add every single script that we want to start now from there what we can do you go, you can either restart the server or you can actually just go in here and copy the the resource name you then you can go back into your server and type slash refresh that'll refresh all your resources then you can just do t uh t slash start and then paste the resource name and as you see it started the script environment for esx underscore vehicle shop now we open our map there's you know the vehicle shop we can do slash tpm to teleport there we can open our tx admin menu and we can go in here and as you guys see now we have a working 
vehicle shop right it's, it's pretty simple and it's you know very easy to do uh as you guys see our vehicle shop has zero vehicles so you're gonna want to add some vehicles into the database but you kind of get the point right that's how you guys can add more scripts onto there and then you can slowly start adding your ambulance job your police job and so on anyway this is the end of the video again make sure you guys join the discord we're gonna be doing a full revamp of the discord we're gonna be creating a public chat where you guys can come in there ask questions where other people in the discord can help you out we'll help you out and so on if this video did help you guys please make sure you guys subscribe we're gonna be releasing more tutorials and again make sure you guys check out our store for good high quality scripts anyway Peace out.